It's time for the Daily Stand-Up Podcast presented by Agile Dad with your host, Lee Henson. Without any further ado, let's get started. All right, this episode is going to take me a couple of tries to get through, I can tell already. Um, Today's the day that I celebrate a milestone. Uh, Today's the day that I celebrate turning 51. So in 51 years, I've had a lot of time to learn many things, but I thought that would be a good idea for me to share with you today the top 20 things that I've learned. So the top 20 life lessons that I've learned that have helped me to have a happy and fulfilled life. I'm already starting to cry a little, so I know it's going to be hard, but uh, I've had some rough times, but I've had more good times than rough times. And I want to share with you some of these keys to living a fulfilled life, because I think if it helped me, it will definitely help you. So let's start going through this list. Uh, And in no specific order, Uh, I'm going one through 20 here. Number one is lead with love. There are too many times and opportunities where we have to show kindness for other people. Whether it's just holding the door for somebody or telling someone hello or doing something special, we we should always lead with love. And I think that too often we have these opportunities and we just skip them. And you never know when someone else might need that extra lift. So right out of the gate, lead with love. Number two, serve others endlessly. When you lose yourself in the service of others, you'll discover who you really are. It's so hard sometimes because... I even find myself sometimes saying, I just don't have time. But what I've learned over the years is that when you serve others, the time gets sent back to you tenfold. Coming in at number three is show gratitude. You should always be grateful for the blessings you have, for the gifts you've been given, for the things that you have. Make sure that you understand and that you're passionate about showing gratitude, that you're always looking for ways to express how grateful you are for the things that you've been blessed with. Because there's always someone who has less than you do. Coming at number four, seek happiness. I think too often we get wound up in a turmoil of all of the media and social media and things around us. And it sometimes causes us to be down on ourselves and down on life and down on our families and down on things that are happening. We should always seek happiness. We should always look for uplifting, inspirational uh, divine, things, things that will drive you and motivate you to continue to be happy and continue to share happiness with others, which leads me to number five, inspire others and find ways to inspire others to be happy, find ways to uplift them, find ways to be part of their journey. If you can inspire others and you can drive or help them drive to where they're trying to go towards their end goal, in turn, it's going to help you reach your end goal. That brings us to number six. Number six is be prepared. It sounds kind of silly to be on this list, but there have been so many times where I've been prepared and I've been grateful that I've been prepared, where I see others who don't prepare and by not preparing, they're left with little or no hope. And I want you to always think about whether it's spiritually prepared, emotionally prepared, or physically prepared. We need to be prepared for whatever life has in store for us. All right, number seven. Practice kindness. This one kind of falls into lead with love, but kindness and love, in my opinion, are two separate things. Uh, Kindness is more of making certain that we are fulfilling or doing our life's mission without bias, that we are being kind, that we were not trying to, there's no ulterior motive for what we do. And uh, when you practice kindness, unconditional kindness, that means you're willing to do everything you can, not only to inspire others, but number eight, which is uplift others. And I think that if you uplift those who are in need, if you serve even the, the, the weakest of me, then you've, you, you've served me, right? You, you need to find ways to uplift each other, to practice kindness, to... Be prepared for those situations to inspire others, to seek happiness. All of these things are just so important, but they're the pillars. They're the pieces that we need to have a fulfilled life. Coming at number nine, express empathy. There have been many times where I've seen someone who's less fortunate 
who maybe has a sign on the side of the road or a cup in front of him looking for change. There have been times where I've been guilty of looking at that person and casting judgment and saying they probably have all that they need. Or how do I know that they really need it? And it's Life shouldn't be that way. If you can have empathy and walk a mile in their shoes, if any of you have ever really been truly poor before or downtrodden, you'll know that you'd rather be on the winning side of that equation. And what I mean by that is I'd rather give something to someone who is asking, who may not need it, than to not give and be held accountable for it later. We need to be empathetic to the needs of others, to where they are in their lives, to what they're saying and what they believe, and to how they feel. We need to explore who they are. Number 10, I put this one in the middle on purpose because it's the one that I always share with my kids. You should always be honest. Whether it's in your professional dealings or your personal dealings, you should always strive to have honesty and integrity. Be a pillar that you stand on. My kids know that if dad says it, that not only is it true, but if dad says it, that he's going to do it. And that's so important. It's important to have that type of honesty in your relationship. Number 11 is give freely. (laughs) That one almost ties directly to number nine with express empathy. But we've been blessed with so much that it should be easy for us to give freely of what we have, to, to share our time, to share a little bit of our income, to share what we have, to help others have a better life. (laughs) Number 12 is never judge. You don't know what somebody else has been through. You can't judge a person based on who they love, who they worship, where they came from, whether they're tall, short, skinny, fat. I'll never forget it was many years ago. I was in a grocery and it probably could apply today. There was a little girl in line. She was just behind me. And she turned to her mom. She said, Mommy, why is that man so fat? I thought to myself, I could have exploded at that moment, but it was a good learning opportunity and teaching opportunity for this young mother. She knelt down next to her child, and I thought, here goes a great learning experience. And she proceeded to tell her child it's because he's lazy and he eats the wrong foods. I was devastated. I took It took all that was in me to kneel down next to that young child and tell her, your mommy's right. I am fat, but I can exercise and lose weight. Sweetie, your mom is ugly, and there ain't no change in ugly. (laughs) I had to get a laugh in here somewhere. But the truth is, we shouldn't judge others, no matter what we do. Number 13, share your talents. Some of us have been blessed with gifts of knowledge or gifts of language or gifts of music. It's important for us to discover our own talents and to freely share them with others, to uplift them and to help them be the best that they can be. How about number 14, ignite passion. Sometimes people are not as aware of their very own talents. And it's important for us to say, man, you're really good at that and help ignite passion in others so that they can be the best they can be. Number 15, probably the one I struggle with the most, be humble. Yeah, for those of you who know me, you know humility is not my strong suit, but I've learned that in the times when I am humble, it's when I feel the most peace. So humility is a gift. It's a challenge. It's something that we all need to embrace, and it's something that we all need to be aware of. And that leads me to the next one, which is number 16. Embrace change. Whether it's change in your agile framework, I had to say it, or whether it's change in your personal life. It's important for us to figure out what those changes are, to embrace change, to help others embrace change, and to make sure that we know that change isn't always a bad thing. How about number 17, raise awareness. We need to raise awareness for causes that we stand for, for things that we believe, for uh, the way that we feel, and for the comfort level we have, and for um, things that we're passionate about, and for those who can't raise awareness for themselves. It's important for us to stand and be a beacon unto others and to raise awareness for the things that are important to us. Number 18 is to be strong. Is physically strong, emotionally strong, mentally strong. You never know when someone's going to need to lean on you 
And if you don't have your house in order and you're not strong, you're not going to provide much of a pillar for that person to lean against. It's important for us to always be strong and to, to be there for others in times of need. I say the most important two for last. Coming at number 19 is have faith. Now, for me, that's easy because I have a spiritual grounding. But even if you don't have a spiritual grounding, find something that you believe in. Find something that you can make your pillar or your foundation. For me as a Christian, it's quite easy to have faith because I know that certain things are true. And it helps me keep my life in order and keep myself balanced and keep things aligned. But no matter what walk of life you come from, find something to invest in and have faith in it. And know with all your heart that because you have faith in it, that you you have peace because you have faith. And the last one, probably the most important on the whole list, is to is to to, to make certain that no matter what you do. Sorry, I just needed a second. The most important on the list is to live love, and dream. It's so hard to live love and dream. So many people dream and their dreams never come true. Other people, they lack in the love department. Some people just go through life and only live. But what I can tell you is if you put these three together, they are the three amigos. They are the three that that go together to help put the glue on all these other people or on all the people on all these other uh, list items. When I said people, it reminded me, I was thinking in the back of my mind, I was teaching a class once at a home improvement, uh, an agile class for a home improvement company. And uh, one of the young ladies came up crying. I said, why are you crying? And she says, but Lee, this is the glue that holds all the sawdust together and makes us all particle board. And my, at that moment, my only thought was, couldn't we at least be MDF? No, but I get what she was saying. That even when our life is completely splintered, that if we have these 20 things, that we can be cohesive. And it makes sense. And that we can be something stronger and something bigger. So I hope that as I celebrate the downward stroll... As I look forward to uplifting and inspiring others, as I look forward to doing all these things, I hope that I can leave a legacy and a path that helps inspire, uplift at least one person to do better, be stronger, live better, love more, and never judge. I hope that you have an amazing day. Until next time, my friends, stay healthy, stay well, and stay agile. We'll talk again soon. Bye now.